Hi friends, I hope you're enjoying the story and loving the science. I keep saying this sentence in the starting of every story because loving science is really necessary. If we don't love science and if we are not interested in science, we cannot learn science in fun way. So I keep saying enjoy science and have fun with science. I'm really getting a very good response for this series of stories and a toy. And thank you, a big thank you to all of you. Now today's story is also a very interesting story. Because the name, the person of today's story in today's story is a very famous one. And you all have definitely heard of this name. His name is Alfred Nobel. And think where well you have heard this? Yes, the Nobel Prizes. So let's start the story. The founder of the well-known Nobel Prizes, Alfred Nobel. This is a prize that people get for their outstanding contribution to the respective field. Yes, we all have heard his name because of these well-known and great prizes. Alfred was an excellent student in his childhood. In particular, his favorite subject was Swedish language. I'll be a literary man when I grow up, he used to say. But he had a little bit weak health and he used to often stay at home because of that. One day, a letter came from his father who lived in Russia. He was living in Sweden with his family. His father lived in Russia. According to the letter, his father's business was very successful. So his, he wanted his family to come and stay with him in Russia. With pleasure of seeing his father after five years, the family left for Russia. Noble family spent happy days in Russia. Alfred now has started learning in Russian language. He also used to often follow his dad to his factory. Daddy, what are you making in your factory? He asked. Bombs called nuclear landmines. They are dreadful weapons used in wars, his father replied. After seeing all these mines, Alfred thought, why do people even start wars? One day, Alfred's Russian language teacher asked him and his brothers, why are we even studying? Isn't this a very interesting subject? Uh, question, why are we even studying? And the teacher himself answered the question as we are studying to seek and seek the happiness of people. We are studying for the sake to seek the happiness of people. This is a very important sentence. Alfred couldn't understand his teacher's sentence in such a small age, but it echoed in his heart. One day, Alfred was talking to his father on meadow in the twilight. His father wanted Alfred to also become a scientist like he did. But Alfred said, Daddy, I like literature better than science. Now I'm learning Russian language. I want to be a literary man without fail, Alfred said. Despite of his father's angry shout, Alfred didn't back out on his dream on becoming a literary man. Go to America and learn technical skills, his father almost ordered. So he was helpless but to listen to his father. Although Noble had no mind to learn technical skills, he couldn't disobey his father. At last, he went to United States to learn technical skills. But still he read a lot of collections of poems and studied literature 
hand in hand with technical skills. After some years, at the age of 19, Nobel decided to return to Russia to help his father. Russia was staging a war on Turkey and France at that time. His father's factory was a busy scheduled one. On returning home, Alfred helped his father by working very hard in his factory. Unfortunately, Russia lost the war and his father's weapon factory had to close down. Alfred couldn't see the sadness in his father's eyes. And he decided to stay there to reopen the factory. His father and mother decided to leave for Sweden, their homeland. Alfred and his two brothers decided to remain in Russia to continue their work in the factory. So imagine the dedication and the sacrifice he did for his father. This actually gives tears in my eyes. They did a lot of research in explosives for many years. Alfred had finally found a very highly explosive material, nitroglycerin, during his research. He used it to invent a new explosive which was not even known before. His invention was a great success and so Alfred was able to to again set up a factory in Sweden where his father lived in his homeland. Alfred's invention was used in mines and at construction sites. His father thought of him very highly. But nitrogen glycerin was very dangerous and could explode when it was managed very carelessly. One day, Alfred's assistant Amy lost her life when a bomb exploded in the laboratory. Alfred was very sad over his death. When the danger of explosives become known to all the people around, the citizens of the city started blaming it on nobles. There must not be a factory of such dreadful explosives in, in the middle of the city, they started saying. And Alfred agreed to that. At last, Alfred set up a new factory and you'll be surprised to know where. Alfred set up a new factory on a ship floating in the middle of a lake. Isn't that interesting? A whole factory on a ship floating in the middle of the sea. Sorry, lake. But the accidents of the explosives were not stopping. He was very distressed. Oh, what can I do to keep this explosive safe, he thought. He continued his research in his laboratory. At last, he successfully invented a new explosive called dynamite. He conducted an open experiment with dynamite in Germany and got its stability and power checked. Alfred earned a lot of money through dynamite. But he was not happy. He always used to be deeply distressed by the thought that the explosive could one day kill people. He thought about what the way he could make this a happy money. He wanted his money to be spent for happiness of the people. I think it is my happiness to be helpful to an honest and sincere man when he gets tired while doing research in poverty, he thought. Nobel started helping people in his life, many, many such needy people. But he became weak at the age of 63 and he again thought, I have so much of money and uh, even after my death, this money should be useful for these poverty people or these people in poverty who keep doing research. Please use my money to award prizes to those who contribute into world peace each year. Nobel made this will before he died. In accordance with his will, 
Each year, Nobel Prizes have been awarded to those who contribute to physics, chemistry, biology, literature, he did not forget literature, and peace. His name has been remembered up to now through these Nobel Prizes. Nobel put into practice the idea of studying for sake of people's happiness as he had heard from his Russian teacher when he was a small child. See, he was in distress the whole life because he was sad that he invented dynamite. But he used it at mines and construction sites and did not want it to be used in wars. Then again he became very famous and very rich because of this dynamite invention. But again he used all his money to give away prizes. And you do you know you can search on Google. These prizes are worth a lot of dollars. So that people could keep on their research even in poverty. I hope you have loved the story. And the story had a little bit of a different angle. And ho I hope you have understood the reason behind the today's story that I told. Now let's make another toy which is an explosion. But not that big. You can do it in your courtyard or in your balcony. Bye. So in today's toy, we are going to make a mini explosion at home. So make sure your elder sister, brother or your parents are allowed. It is not at all dangerous and we are going to only use edible material. But still, don't put your hands in your mouth while you do the experiment. And it is also going to be a little messy. So do it in your balcony or in your courtyard. So what all do we need? We need some vinegar, some baking soda and some colors, edible colors to make our experiment more fun. You also need some paper chips and some plastic bags. Ziploc bags are more preferable so that we can close them fast. Okay, now let's start. I've already poured some vinegar into the bag and now I'm adding some food color. Ooh, see it's blood red. Okay, shake it well so that the color mixes. And now, place some baking soda onto the paper chip. And we are going to put this soda inside the bag at once. And we need to close the bag very fast. So, the reaction is very fast. So, you what, what I say is, almost close half the bag. And keep a small edge of the bag open. Okay? And try to slide your paper without making the soda fall. <laughs> try to slide your paper inside the bag. Slide it, slide it, slide it. Make sure your soda doesn't fall. And once you are and then close your bag. Did you hear that? A mini explosion. Try it at home. Don't make a lot of mess. But I'm sure it's fun and you'll enjoy it a lot. Bye.